How to maximize red wine antioxidants. You definitely should consider drinking red wine if you drink alcohol. Considering the health benefits of red wine and how enjoyable the experience can be, I think that red wine is the logical choice for the drinker. Let us begin by looking at the health benefits of red wine. To understand these benefits requires a short explanation, red wines are a rich source of biologically active compounds known as phytochemicals, which are chemicals found in plants. In particular, phytochemicals called polyphenols are found in red wine. Two polyphenols in red wine are catechins and resveratrol, both of which are antioxidants. Antioxidants are any substance that reduces oxidative damage, damage due to oxygen such as that caused by free radicals. Free radicals are highly reactive chemicals that attack molecules by capturing electrons and thus modifying chemical structures. Resveratrol not only provides antioxidant protection from free radical damage, but it helps to protect LDL cholesterol against oxidation, promotes optimal cardiovascular health, supports and supports healthy aging and normal cell growth. Catechin, on the other hand, appears to play an important role in reducing the risk of heart disease. Another antioxidant called saponin, is also found in red wine and it also may offer protective benefits for the heart and is easily absorbed by the body. Antioxidants may possibly reduce the risks of cancer and age-related macular degeneration AMD. Antioxidants clearly slow the progression of AMD. Please note the benefits of antioxidants listed here should not be considered an exhaustive list. There are many additional benefits that have been linked with antioxidants, I really introduce some here so that you get a sense of the benefits of these substances. Additionally a fairly recent study has correlated moderate consumption of red wine with balanced blood sugar. This is certainly a noteworthy correlation. Let me conclude with a caveat, while drinking red wine can indeed benefit your health, only responsible drinking can do so. Excessive drinking can of course have very negative ramifications. On the other hand, moderate consumption can become an enjoyable hobby that allows you to really experience a variety of red wines and the amazing flavors that red wine has to offer. There are thousands of different red wines out there, well more like hundreds of thousands, which in turn means there is an abundance of flavors out there, for you to enjoy and at the same time benefit your health. Once you develop more of a palette for red wines, you will subsequently improve your ability to distinguish between the various aspects of wine. Once you begin to drink red wine, you should get yourself a beginner's guide to wine and should consider taking some courses on wine. That way you can have a really enjoyable hobby and it can be quite fun to learn the dialect and really experience the nuances of distinction. Before I conclude, let's look at what moderate consumption of red wine means, 1 to 2 glasses a day for men and 1 glass a day for women. Also note that abstaining from drinking red wine throughout the week and then drinking these amounts on the weekend does not constitute moderate intake, that would be unhealthy. How to maximize red wine antioxidants, here is your benefits red wine.